Hey guys, it's Cog ATQT coming at you. I figured I would do a video on the guild situation. What exactly is going on with the system, the strengths, the flaws, the whole nine yards, because obviously we're getting another battle very soon here. We're, we're going to be having another battle coming up in the next few days. And I just wanted to kind of go over exactly how to, well, pretty much cheat the system in your favor. And I looked through it, I looked through very carefully, and the system makes sense. Now, ultimately, a lot of the gripe in the community is the fact that if you only have 19 people defending, you're never going to get matched up against somebody who has 20 people or, or somebody, you know, who has a full guild. Now, I don't know the specifics if it's, you know, 19 to 19 or so forth or wherever, but there seems to be different tiers. So, I mean, if you go in with... 10 defenders, which is the minimum, the likelihood of you fighting somebody with maybe 12 people or more, probably not going to happen. Now, you might ask, why is this? And realistically, it's because of the second half of this tournament. So for the first half, the qualifiers, aside from a win or lose, the points don't really matter. The points don't really have any bearing on, on the fight. But then when you get into the... The second half, the last three matches that you'll see here on the screen, those are where the points come into play. Because if two parties win only one match, then it's based off of the point system. Well, if your guild only has 10 or 15 defenders, and you're up against a guild that has, you know, 20 defenders, or you're the only one that, let's say, has has a lot, lot less people. Like, let's say your, your guild only has, like, 15 and the other three guilds you're competing against have 20 you're fucked you're you're automatically fucked this is there's no way you're going to to be able to get more points because you have five less people who can attack and that's you know that's a significant amount of points so i think that's why the system is the way it is and i don't think it's broken now mind you if you wanted to you can go through you could set up less defenders you could even have it to where some people don't do the arena at all. They would lose the gems, mind you. But you would keep it to where they wouldn't have to fight, you know, some of these top-end guilds. They wouldn't have to go against people who got Masters last week, like Big Drackey Squad and, and Starfall. They would avoid them completely. Like, I think even... Let's see here. Somebody had said that Zenith was running... Nah, they're not running 19. But, I mean, realistically, this guild that spent a lot of money and... and didn't really do well last last time around they could go in and they could say hey one guy we, we don't want you to you know partake in the arena which doesn't matter to them they're big time spenders and they wouldn't get you know paired up against people who beat them last week like I think arena watch and, and one of their guild just smashed them just completely destroyed them last week so there's that and that's Technically fair. I mean, it's because, again, if, if the second part of the system wasn't set up on, on a point merit system for a tiebreaker, then it wouldn't really matter. But that's how they do, do the setup. And, you know, for that part, you know, it is what it is. So if you only have 10 people in your guild and you're not getting a lot in the stam rewards, you still have a good chance to get Master 1. And Master 1 is, is a lot of gems. I mean, you know, if you get Master 1... That's 2,500. I mean, how many other guilds are you going to fight that probably only have like 10, 10 or so people? Probably not too many. So, I mean, you know, don't don't get too disheartened. If you're like starting up a new guild, I think this is a pretty fair system in that regard. Now, if you're starting a new guild and you're trying to, to get to the stand leaderboards, you know, high up there, like top 100, top 30, uh, probably not going to happen. Well, let, let's be realistic, but... You still have a chance to get a lot of gems that way. Now, other people will will bitch and moan and be like, this is unfair, this isn't cool. You know, I guess they want to, like, try and avoid, you know, guilds like Starfall because they don't want to get embarrassed two weeks in a row. So, you know, they want to have more guilds in there to, to avoid that. But if you want to avoid them, don't have 20 people fight. <laughs> that's, that's all you... If they do 20 people, you don't do 20 people. It's very, very simple. Now, the other thing I want to bring up is, 
the system is skewed heavily in favor of people who use discords, Facebooks, you know, whatever to talk to people and communicate because the system was originally based around chat. Now, some people said it's because of Ukraine. Some people you know, said it's because of China. Whatever the case may be, I've played a bunch of other games where they've had international chats and I don't think they've taken them down or done anything. So whatever the fuck happened here... Somebody dropped the ball on it. And, and not only did they drop the ball on it, they didn't really do anything to help the majority of the player base. Because, again, it's everybody else has to kind of figure things out. So if you're part of one of the Discord communities or you're part of the Facebook groups, you know, at least you have some sense of communication. But for those people who don't and, and kind of wanted that chat, you're, you're dead in the water. Like, there's... People are just going to attack whoever. There's no coordination. There's no teamwork. They're going to do whatever. And it's like, well, you know, good luck getting getting past these guilds that are organized and, and do have a clear line of communication. It's, it's, a real, it's a real shit show in that regard. So I don't know how they're going to fix that, but they really should add a, a chat into the game. I mean, it's, it's 2022. Let's fi figure something out. There's got to be some way. And if you can't do that, why not announce a, a public Discord, you know, for the game or something there? Why not have, like, an official Square Enix DQT Discord, something separate, something that you guys can, you know, regulate, maybe maybe have Malcolm work a couple extra hours, I don't know, give him a few extra dollars more in his pocket, some, some shit where you have a place where it can be facilitated and that people can, can get coordinated. Because more people are invested in these games, more people have these guilds, have ties to the game, they're going to stay around. They're going to spend more money. They're going to buy my guild's accounts and, and come back to the game and say the game's doing very horribly. But then they dropped $150 on an account to play again. So what does that say about them trying to chase things? Fucking silly. So yeah. Essentially, the main things are you're going to want to... If you don't want to fight people in 20 guilds, set a couple of defenses lower... And if you don't have a full roster of people, not the end of the world, you still have a chance of getting a decent amount of gems. I mean, you know, you are still going to have guilds where you're going to be fighting against some pretty heavy, heavy hitters. I mean, you know, you've got guilds that have a lot of, of set defenses. I think the defenses aren't going to change too much for, for this, this month coming up. You might start seeing Zaro in there. Since he is, you know, a banner, you can put him in. I don't think we're going to see any of uh, Kid Eric, because I don't think Kid Eric's coming until, like, the 15th. So, potentially, the only changes you might see to a lot of these defenses that people set up are... Or maybe Zoro will get fit in there, because it's going to be the same amount of weight, same amount of rule sets. Nothing's going to change in that regard. So, I don't see too much... Too many things getting getting changed... Unless, of course, we get a Blossom, like, right as this is about to get done. So, like, let's say maybe we get, like, Mel Ross Blossom or somebody else's. Maybe you'll see some variation there, but I I don't don't see too much happening in that regard. But realistically, I think the system is, aside from the chat, the system's pretty good. You know, the guild system itself isn't too bad. I mean, I would like to see... Maybe some more guild missions, personally. Maybe maybe some more, you know, things you could do with the guild on a weekly basis. Maybe a mega boss battle, something of that regard. Maybe, maybe as you rank up the guild, you can unlock some of these buildings and do some other stuff, which I don't know if Japan has that or not, or if that's been fleshed out in any way. But, because right now it's pretty much just cosmetic, you know. I think every, every ten or so ranks you get a new symbol, so... We'll hit 40 in a couple of days. We'll get a new symbol. And the the outlaying of the, the castle and everything will look a little bit different. But overall, hopefully they add chat in some time near future. Probably, I don't think it'll be for this this tournament. But maybe the next one is, or, or something to help people out. Because, I mean, you know, we t people talk about, oh, you get easy wins there and that. Well... It's easy if these people don't even have some place to communicate, you know, if or they didn't even... Because some of these people don't use Discord. Some of these people don't get on Reddit. They don't do any of that stuff. They just 
log into these games and play. They have no idea about the community, about all the other stuff on the side, the trading cards, the whole nine yards. But anyway, I think I'm going to leave it here, guys. Thanks for watching. I should do another video here soon, potentially. We're thinking about getting the podcast back up with myself and Nibs. Let me know if you, you think that's a good idea for us to start going over that again. But otherwise, take care, guys. See you next time. Peace.